So as you mentioned, that's a research and simulation-based education. It's very, very important thing for to educate our learner, especially in a setting that you cannot do it everywhere in form of that you cannot run it in front of patients because of the patient safety. So our objective is to review the research which can be used in simulation education and how to categorize the research and understand the difference between the categories, highlight the benefits and the pitfalls when using simulation in educational research, understand the obstacles that researchers may face by designing research questions around simulation-based education. Uh, the end, we can uh, like create and share examples of simulation-based research by designing research questions around simulation-based education. And so there is two types of category in simulation-based research. The first one, which is commonly that we use it in research and publication, which is the efficacy of simulation as training and methodology. So it's the, which is basically when you run a simulation session to make sure that this simulation session is very useful. Or let's say you want to test if this knowledge if you can use simulation to test the knowledge or the clinical skills of the behavior or the technical skills which is basically we commonly see in simulations uh, and in literature they, they found that like we don't have to prove simulation is effective we already know that simulation is very useful and effective to teach the trainees we have to shift our focus from is simulation is really effective to how can we use this how can we use simulation to be effective so rather than if simulation works we have to focus on what's the most important thing that you focus on it and when and where and why and how so five points that the researcher should focus on rather than doing the researches in a point of, of is simulation is really effective